It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to drag click on your mouse. So there are a couple of different me methods in using this. Um, uh, like you can, either you have like a mouse that has a bad texture like um, this one. Um, this is, uh, this one does not have a good texture. I mean I can drag. But the CPS is very low and for instance, if I use like some grip tape, which is right here, or this isn't actually grip tape, this is electrical tape, um, you can uh, get a better drag with this. Of course, you have to modify this tape a little bit to be able to make it where it's fit for drag clicking. But um, anyway, so um, this mouse right here, I'm using the grip tape only to get more clicks per second or CPS. I mean, I can actually take this tape off and stuff, which I'm not, because I want to leave it there. But you, I can get just as much, I can get a pretty high CPS um, with it without the tape. But I can get higher with the tape. Like, um, I can drag without this tape. I get like 10 more clicks per second or a CPS. Uh, it, you know, it helps a little bit. But basically, the way you want to drag is you want to... Um, uh, lightly hold your um, mouse like this or you don't have to it just depends on what mouse you use um, like this I don't have to um, like this mouse I don't have to uh, hold it I can just like easily drag click on it this isn't the best uh, drag clicking mouse at all I wouldn't say or it's not the best butterfly clicking one either just because of this mouse cruiser is in the way, and it, you can sometimes hit it, but, um, anyway, this mouse, however, this one's pretty good, um, as you can see, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. I'm just gonna show you. And that's basically what it looks like, um, of course, um, as as of course, you know, you have to uh, lightly put your finger on it and slowly go down. Okay, and it depends on what kind of mouse you have. If you have an office mouse, this you don't want to use an office mouse. The office mouse has a very uh, heavy button, so when you're drag clicking on it, um, it can't register the clicks as well. So you like this office mouse, for instance. I swear this video is about basically me showcasing. Uh, my mouse. This is an office mouse right here. The buttons are like super thick on here, so I can drag click, but the it's just I get like five clicks. I can I can click faster like this than I do get with CPS, but I still drag click on it a little bit. So basically, what you want to do to drag click is you want to um lightly touch your finger on this mouse. And you want to um, kind of just, I'm going to hold it with this hand so it's just easier for me. You lightly touch it and just go down slightly. Just like so. So that's pretty much how you drag click. Um, of course, you can hold your mouse at the same time. This to keeps it from moving and stuff. You want to hold it with your thumb and your two index fingers on this side, and just, but the uh, only bad thing about this is that it's, it can be harder to control, especially have, if you have like um, a smaller hand, not hard to control, um, hard to drag click, especially have if you have a small hands like mine, which mine aren't that small, but they're small enough for it to be difficult for me, but so, and plus this side is harder to drag click on, than on um, this side, which is super weird, but it's 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 just super hard for me. Um, so as you can see, if I don't know if you can tell, but there's like little bitty um ridges in my drag clicking tape, and that's because if you do not use um if you do not have ridges, that means you will have like you won't be able to drag click. Um, but if you like 
have it very like a couple ridges that can register your finger going like up and down and creating friction against it and therefore um you be it registers more clicks that way um so yeah that's pretty much how you do it um i i get around usually uh 20 cps long drag um 10 to 15 short drag of course you know i'm going like Super fast like that. But anyway, um, so it's really not that big deal. But um, also putting uh, electrical tape on your thing can help you um, double click. Like, I get about, if you, double clicking is basically um, hitting your mouse a certain way where it registers two clicks instead of one. Which is kind of weird, but I don't really know how it works. But all I just know is that it's super useful for butterfly click, especially if you double click at the same time. A butterfly is around 15 CPS, depends on where I'm clicking at at the mouse. But anyway guys, that kind of wraps it up, except, actually I'm going to show you how to make the grip tape. Um, uh, so yeah, let me take my uh, keyboard. Okay, so first you want to get some uh, electrical tape, and you want to, uh, also I'm going to get my... Uh, box cutter out. Basically, uh, you have to take off a strip. If I can find the end. Okay, here it is. You want to take off a strip. And this is like, I know this is super hard um, to demonstrate. So, um, I will just, uh, I'll, I'll just use it on here. Okay, you can see that. But basically, you just want to get so far down. And then, you want to get the box cutter. And just kind of cut it a little bit and pull that off. And then you have one strip of tape. And if you want to, um, you can get the strip of tape and kind of like uh, cut ridges in it a little bit on the first layer. Just a couple. And you don't want to cut too hard where it's going through it. You just want to slightly grade it a little bit. But just hard enough where it creates, you know, like little bitty holes in, or uh, slices in it. But no, if it's too much, then it might not work for you. But then um, you want to get another piece of tape, electrical tape, if I can get it, and put it on your previous piece. Once it's on your previous piece, then you just want to go... And, uh, put it over like that. So now there's two pieces. And then you just want to get this, uh, the cardboard and then go over it one more time. And try to clear out as many air bubbles as you can, because that could affect your drag clicking. But then you just want to, like, cut it a little bit. Like that. And then, as you can see, I'm going to um, run my finger slightly on the uh, on here. And then I'm going to rub it down here. And as you can see, I get a whole lot more um, friction using this. And then you just apply it to your mouse button, the one you want to drag click on. And, of course, um, what you can do is you can... Let me get my mouse pad back up. I didn't want to cut my mouse pad, which is why I took it off. But what you can do is you can um just uh pretty much here just my webcam you can just uh put it on each mouse button where you can go like that but it's for me it's, and it might be for you the same to, it's difficult to drag on both at the same time like this finger right here doesn't drag click on this one as well unless it's like wet or like a little bit um stippy sticky that I just said stippy but you can use you can take off a strip of um, electrical tape and just kind of touch your finger with it and get it kind of sticky a little bit and then run your mouse down it. But some people might want to do that. But um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and here's another tip. I would not um, use a, I would not use a dry clicking tape because some people have said that can be toxic for your mouse. But electrical tape 
isn't. I'm sh I don't think it is, at least. But, uh, anyway, so that's pretty much how you draft. Like, if you enjoyed this video, um, please tell me. Uh, I'll be making more videos on this uh, and stuff like that. So, if you did enjoy this video, please um, subscribe and like and comment uh, if this helped you out or not. It would be I'd be so happy if it did. So, please comment if this helped you out at all. And um, there are better videos of this. I'm just posting what I know. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I'll see y'all guys in the next video.